Today I'm going to show you guys um, the new uh, GBA emulator for the DSi player. It is exclusively for the iPlayer and will not be available for something like the R4 because it just isn't possible. So please don't flood my video with comments asking when this will be re released for the R4 or anything like that. So, let's begin by looking at um, the, the emulator. So, if you can see here, I am just running Final Fantasy VI right now. And, I guess I should turn up the volume. There we go. You can see that there really isn't any lag for now, um, and there really isn't any lag. The game looks pretty good, so... The cool thing about this emulator is the huge amount of features for a game, or for an emulator that a first version or first release. So there's a skipping forward, or frame skip, which means that you speed through the game. So, in this case, I've already seen this intro, so speeding through it is really quite useful. Um, you can see that the sound is gone when you turn on frame skip, so let's check out what other features there are. You can change the amount of, um, the amount of uh, frames it skips to speed or slow down things and you can turn sound on and off but that's not really important. The next is save state. You can save um, anywhere in game without the use of uh, save points, checkpoints, or anything like that. And well, it's past a while so what I can do is go back to save state and read one of the slots and it'll go back to where it was originally. There are 32 slots for save states which is really fantastic. Um, you have cheats, it supports a standard cheat file which is .cht. You can download it from GBA Temp's cheat database or if you happen to have an M3 or Easy Flash or even a SuperCard, they should all have cheat files. This is very standard but I haven't actually used it yet, so. Um, we also have tools here. Uh, let's check out the key er, remapping first. So um, you have here, you know, in case you're one of those people that like to use Y and B for their A, B buttons instead of the A and B offered on the DS or DSi, you can remap them like so but I'm not really a fan of that. There's also Rapid A and Rapid B, which um, if you hold X, for example, it will um, repeatedly click A for you. I don't have any use for that. And also, Awakening Menu is to turn this menu on, and I actually like tapping the screen, but I've gotten used to the X button that's on default. Um, we also have a screenshot section, so um, as you can see this is what we're currently looking at and the game is paused when you go into a menu, you can just save a snapshot here. So um, I can browse the screenshots immediately and you can see the instructions down here. Up here you can see that I had screenshots for Pokemon and Legend of Zelda Minish Cap here. So. Uh, Yep, it works well. I haven't hit a problem yet, but then again, I'm not testing this as in-depth as I usually do. And finally, the Others button. It takes a few seconds to load. <clears throat> it's odd that they show the language it changes into instead of what's currently displayed, but I can change it to Chinese if I want, shows me how much I have left, version information, etc. So, very standard. Um, 
let's go back to uh, turning this off. Ah, yes, there's a graphic size option that's like off right now, but if you look carefully, there is a, a black border around all of here. Normally the screen stretches out here as well. So I'm hoping that a future feature would be to unlock this and be able to stretch the screen out. Now, um, let's restart the game. You can see that Final Fantasy works and full speed and everything. So I also have a bunch of other games here. Oh, whoops, wrong folder. There's a glitch. I'm not sure if it's my fault or since no one else seemed to have mentioned it, but it displays a game repeatedly. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm not a fan of that. Now, let's see. Um, I heard that Golden Sun lags, and I, I really don't have a save file, so I only tested the first few seconds. And it really does lag if you want to see this. Um, it's not so bad on the first game, but on the second, it, it is. Oh, whoops, I turned on the menu. Uh, how do I get back? Oh, I guess I... I guess, I guess I'll launch another game. What's odd is a clean version of Pokemon Sapphire does not run. It will blank out like so. Whereas, um... I had the ROM pre-patched for an M3 Lite, and it ran flawlessly. Um, it's nice that you're still able to access the menu, even if the game doesn't boot. So, let's see, what else? I was going to boot Golden Sun for you. The loading bar is pretty minimalistic. But, let's see... You can hear the glitch, right? The, the sound isn't quite right. Um, yeah, that's pretty clearly uh, unplayable in my opinion. Uh, let's see. For the most part, uh, most of my games run fine. Um, like Harvest Moon just boots up full speed, runs great. I know that Golden Sun is problematic. Uh, for popular games though, I, I heard that Mother 3 doesn't work, it patched, translated, regular, nothing works. Um, Harvest Moon is one of my all-time favorite games, so it's nice to see that it works. Um, okay, let's keep going. Legend of Zelda, I had screenshots, it works flawlessly as well. Um, let's skip through this with frame skip. See, already finding uses for it. Alright, that's pretty annoying. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna keep doing this, but it should, it seems to run. Um, ah, yes, this is interesting. This is a homebrew file with a Game Boy, a Game Boy Advance homebrew file that runs. So, it works. Um, so yeah, my impressions of this homebrew file is very good. I mean, it's hard to see something so polished on a first release. I know there's some compatibility problems. I know some people aren't going to be happy that, you know, Mother 3 doesn't work or, or Golden Sun legs or something, but this is a first release and it's really exciting to see and Personally, I expect uh, better compatibility later on, so looking forward to it.